On Wednesday, the U.S. House of Representatives overwhelmingly passed bipartisan legislation that reaffirms and enhances U.S. policy commitments to Israel's security. The United States-Israel Enhanced Security Cooperation Act of 2012, which was sponsored by House Majority Leader Representative Eric Cantor and House Minority Representative Steny Hoyer, passed by a vote of 411 to 2. In addition to expanding military cooperation between the two countries, the legislation states that it will be U.S. policy to provide Israel with essential military capabilities to preserve its qualitative military edge in the region. Some provisions appear aimed at assisting Israel, particularly in any possible confrontation with Iran. The legislation recommends that the U.S. provide Israel with air refueling tankers, missile defense capabilities, and specialized munitions. The American-Israel Public Affairs Committee, which lobbied for this legislation during its annual policy conference in March, released a statement applauding the bipartisan support for the legislation. On Thursday, twin bomb blasts in the Syrian capital of Damascus killed 40 people and wounded more than 170. One of the explosions hit a district that houses a well-known military intelligence complex involved in Syrian President Assad's crackdown on a 14-month uprising. Thursday's explosion came a day after a bomb exploded near UN monitors observing implementation of a UN ceasefire plan and less than two weeks after Syrian authorities said a suicide bomber killed at least nine people in Damascus. The Hamas government in Gaza is now using its authority to foil the firing efforts of cells from other organizations such as the Islamic Jihad and the Popular Resistance Committees. The new force was formed by and is under the direct command of Hamas Interior Minister Fatih Hamad, who in the past has been considered an extremist in regard to Israel. The force has a green light to shoot activists who resist arrest or fire at the Hamas soldiers, and anyone arrested can expect to spend at least a couple of months in prison. Seven years after grounding its planes, Palestinian Airlines was back in business on Wednesday with an inaugural flight that traveled between the Egyptian town of Arish and Jordan's capital, Amman. The company was founded in 1995 and operated flights that shuttled travelers between Dahania Airport in Rafah and various destinations in the Middle East and North Africa. The company was forced to shut down after the IDF bombed Dahania in 2001 with the start of the Al-Aqsa and Tafada. The Tel Aviv municipality approved a 54 million shekel budget for the construction of affordable housing in the Shapira neighborhood, a disadvantaged area in South Tel Aviv. The city decided to expedite the project's construction in light of last summer's protest. The project is slated to be built on a four dunam plot of municipal land and consists of 69 apartments which are to be built in three buildings arranged around a yard. Each building consists of three- and four-room apartments, which will be about 80 square meters.